In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Dalton and Haley on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word of God, that's, to the word that God speaks to us today. Then with Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father, through Christ our Lord, for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one.
O oh God, who in creating the human race will that wife, that man and wife should be one, joined we pray in bond of in inseparable love, those your servants who are to be united in the covenant of marriage, so that as you make their love fruitful, they may become by your grace witnesses of charity itself. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
to heaven and said, I pray not only for my disciples, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I have made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alton Haley, you got me a little bit at a loss today. I know I wasn't blessed to do your preparation uh, coming in here recently, but I am honored to be here. I've been blessed to get to know you just this month and a half, two months it's been, uh, but I'm honored here to officiate the wedding for you today. What I do know that we do not have a loss of today is love. Love is what gathers us here today. Not the love that Dalton has for Haley, or the love that Haley has for Dalton. If that were the case, we'd be in a courthouse right now, or maybe even on a beach. <laughs> but rather, the love that gathers us here is the love that Dalton and Haley have for God. There's something different that happens here. Here we share in the celebration of the life of God, particularly, especially, for Dalton Haley in this sacramental way of marriage. Love is the greatest mystery of God. It is who he is. You know what that word mystery means. It's inexhaustible. It's undescribable. Something that we cannot grasp. But yet here we are, gathered in that great mystery, the love of God. God calls us to love, to participate in the mystery of his divine life, something that we cannot completely understand, describe, or grasp. God creates us in his image and likeness. He who is love is a plurality of persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He creates us in that same way as male and female, called to share in the love in that same plurality. God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. Man is meant to love as God loves, to give of himself to another. Male and female, for the two become one flesh, united like no other. Dalton and Haley, you have found a suitable partner in each other. You now come before God to be united to him, for which he has created you. From here on out, you will no longer live on your own, for yourselves, but for each other. The complete gift of your life is now to give, to be given to the other in love. That is what you both vow today here before God, to give yourself, your complete self, to each other. And this love brings happiness and fulfillment to your individual lives. 
But this love requires a total gift of self. Someday it will be hard to see the other as a gift. Some days it will be hard, difficult for you to give your life to your spouse. But remember that it is possible. Remember that it is part of the mysterious love of God that unites and strengthens you. When you bear witness to that, to give yourself to your spouse and to be a gift to your spouse, then you share in that mystery of God. And you are united evermore in his love and in his life. That is the joy and the fulfillment for which he wants for you. Cherish those moments. But acknowledge that love is hard. But love has beautiful and precious moments. St. Paul makes it clear to us what love looks like. The more you grow together, the more you experience those qualities of love. Sometimes it will be challenging to be patient with each other. Some days you'll be tempted to be selfish. God did not give up. He didn't stop loving his chosen people when they broke the covenants and the commandments time and time again. He was patient. Be patient. God didn't seek his own self-interest to come down from the cross when his hour came. He gave his life to the point of death. These are the qualities of love and these are the qualities of God himself. These are the qualities which you will both participate in every moment of your life here forward through this sacrament until death. At death your marriage is fulfilled, it's completed. The love you share in each other as suitable partners will be complete. At that time the love will not fail nor end but it will come to a deeper share in the mystery of God himself. God's love unites you today and each and every day forward so that you may be sanctified and that you may be made holy. Unite yourself to God's love through your love for each other. Through this sacrament, be a witness to praise and glorify God by your life and by your love. come forward. <laughs> Dearly beloved, you have come together in the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens you. Those he has already chosen, those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Dalton and Haley, have you come here to enter into the marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. Are you prepared, as you follow the sacrament of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I, I am. am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? I, I am. am. 
since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. Dalton, if you'll repeat after me. I, Dalton, take you, Haley. I, Dalton, take you, Haley. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Haley, if you repeat after me. I, Haley, take you, Dalton. I, Haley, take you, Dalton. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord, in his kindness, strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. If I can have the rings come forward. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Dalton, if you'll repeat after me. Haley, receive this ring. Haley, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Haley, if you'll repeat after me. Dalton, receive this ring. Dalton, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Good job. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate the love of our sister Haley and our brother Dalton, let us commend them to the Lord. That these faithful Christians, Haley and Dalton, newly joined in holy matrimony, may always enjoy health and well-being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That he will bless their covenant as he chose to sanctify marriage at Cana and Galilee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That they be granted perfect and fruitful love, peace and strength, and that they bear faithful witness to the name of Christian. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Christian people may grow in virtue day by day and that all who are burdened by any need may receive the help of grace from above. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the grace of the sacrament will be renewed by the Holy Spirit in all married persons here present. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Graciously pour out upon this husband and wife, O Lord, the spirit of your love, to make them one heart and one soul so that nothing whatever may divide those you have joined, and no harm come to those you have filled with your blessing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of the sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, their rebirth in baptism gives increase to the church through Christ our Lord. Through him with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Brendan, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise that they offer it for themselves and all who are here to them for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, the offering of your servants, Dalton and Haley, and of your whole family, who entreat your majesty on their behalf. And as you brought them to their wedding day, 
so gladden them with your gift of the children they desire, and bring them in your kindness to the length of days for which they hope. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. History of celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased, to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who do this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. 
admit us to beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Dear brothers and sisters, we humbly pray to the Lord that on these your, his servants now married in Christ may mercifully pour out the, great, the blessing of his grace and make of one heart in love by the sacrament of Christ's body and blood those he has joined by a holy covenant. O oh God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two, but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, that the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter, Haley, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her, so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do, and with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacred sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favor what in your providence you have instituted, so as to make of one heart in love those you have already joined in this holy union and replenished with the one bread and the one chalice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and needy who have known, who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is now my pleasure to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Dalton Derringer. <laughs> 